One of the things I find really interesting when I'm seeing these articles about learning can't happen in the flow of work or it's not possible, I find that those articles are very L&D centered. Like they're much more about what are the methods we typically use outside of the classroom. So it's like, oh, well, if we create videos, that's, you know, that's still not really in the flow of work. And I, what strikes me about that is what we talk about in the LCD model is being much more centered on learner context. So really actually leaning on your learner to, and it's some of the great stuff you all have already been sharing, like leaning on the learner to tell you what is their environmental context, where, where are they already, and how can we meet them there, and not necessarily always trying to create brand new momentum. Of course, you know, of course, it's nice to have like the one stop shop and try to direct everybody there. And maybe you do that. And you also show up where learners are already going. And so I think a lot of the things I've noticed with this discussion when people say it's not possible is they're really focused on kind of their old, their tools and their toolkit and pushing those rather than shifting the questions towards actually understanding their learner's flow of work. And to me, if we're having this discussion around learning in the flow of work, it's not about L&D or it's not about the designer. It's about what's their flow of work look like? What does their environment look like? What's um, one of the things we do in personas is really look at what's the capability that they're trying to apply and what do the moments of need look like with that specific capability? Like we don't, in our model, we don't try to create personas that can be used across the board for every single learning challenge because that the flow of work for those different learning challenges are probably going to be different. So I'm just curious if anyone has, has thoughts on that, just the idea of being kind of L and D centered and what we can do rather than being learner centered and, and really centering the exploration and investigation and design around the learner. 